My name is Philip Dale. I work in the physics department of the university. I investigate the properties of solar cells. These are devices which convert energy from the sun, so light, into electrical energy. We start from just a normal sheet of glass, just like the glass in your window. And then, first of all, we apply a metal layer. This is done in a vacuum machine. And then comes the most important layer to us. This is the absorber layer. This is the one that absorbs the light. And this we try and make in a low-cost manner. And to do this, we electro-deposit. This means we have ions in solution, and we attract them to the surface where they stick. And the semiconductor that we are particularly interested in has four elements, copper, tin, zinc, and sulfur. And what we do is we put first a layer of copper, then a layer of tin, and then a layer of zinc in a sequential process. When we have this stack of metal layers, we then place it inside our oven in the presence of sulfur, and then we thermally treat for five to 10 minutes. And then we let the semiconductor layer, will now just cool down to room temperature, we can take it out of the oven and continue adding the other layers. So you can think about this as a very compressed sandwich, if you will. In fact, you can think of the width of a hair of your head, and it's 50 times less than this. This is actually how high the device structure is, and it consists of seven layers, and we have conducting metal layers on the top and bottom, and in the middle, we have semiconductor layers. So our specific technology is not yet on the roof. It's still very much in the research phase. What we're currently trying to do is improve the device efficiency. Currently, the world record of our technology is at 11%, but we need to get to 15 or 20% before it becomes commercially viable. Why are we pursuing this technology? It's because the materials we use, they are Earth abundant. This means we can find them everywhere on the planet, and therefore we can deploy this technology on a very large scale, so we can think about replacing power stations. With other technologies, we use uh, rarer elements that are not commonly found, and therefore we cannot imagine to deploy them across the whole planet as we need to.